What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful warm Wednesday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, I come across this story about this man right here by the name of Michael Hill. Okay, let me tell you something. Everybody does not deserve to win the lottery. You understand? Because a lot of people are just fools with the money, you know, with the things that they do with the money. But in this particular case right here, he this man is a fool by what he did behind a woman's so-called infidelities, you know. And uh, well, ju let's just check out the video and then we'll get into the commentary. A newly released autopsy report shows a woman found dead inside a hotel room died from a gunshot wound to the head. The report reveals that a maid found 24-year-old Kiana Graham's body inside a room at Sure Stay Hotel in Shalote. The report stated she was sleeping prior to the deadly shooting on July 20th. 24 hours later, Michael Hill, seen here, was arrested and charged in Graham's murder. The autopsy report stated that Hill was Graham's boyfriend. The report also claims that there were domestic issues in the past between the two. Hill remains in the Brunswick County Detention Center without bond. To millionaire to convicted murderer, a lottery winner is now sentenced to life in prison. A jury today found Michael Hill guilty for the 2020 murder of Kiona Graham. Detectives found her shot to death inside a hotel in Chalote. Security cameras showed Hill was the only one with her. He later confessed, saying he shot her after she was texting other men. A judge today sentenced Hill to life in prison without the possibility of parole. In 2017, Hill had won $10 million off a scratch-off lottery ticket. Now you see what I mean? $10 million in 2017. And uh, he walks away with something like maybe a little over uh, four to five million dollars, you know, in a lump sum. And all he can think about doing just because he catches his girlfriend texting other men. <laughs> and you got five million dollars. I, I don't give a shit if you had five dollars. You weren't supposed to kill that woman just because you caught her texting another man or other men you understand what you were supposed to do was leave her in that hotel alive and kicking and going on about your own business you understand what i'm saying but you decided to take the life of this woman instead of enjoying your windfall which of a lot of of us that go to these <laughs> gas stations and you know periodically might buy a lottery ticket or what i'm saying a scratch off and hope for the best like what this dumb idiot ass dude just did. You know what? I mean, he just went and got the dream come true that most of us will do when we go to the gas station and buy a lottery ticket. And you throw it all away by murdering some woman just because you caught her texting other men. This is ridiculous. This is the reason why I say don't everybody deserve to win the lottery, man. You understand what I'm saying? And I've read other news articles about this guy right here and uh, says that he can't even afford, he couldn't even afford his own private attorney. You see, it said that he had to use a public defender. You understand? <laughs> so uh, I don't know what the hell he done with that money or where the money's gone, but I know he's back to square one and he's worse off than what he was before he got the damn lottery ticket because he didn't have a murder on his hands, you see. Now you broke and then you and you are in prison with the murder on your hands behind stupid ass decision making, you see. I would have left her in a hotel. I definitely would have, but she would have been alive and kicking when I left. I can guarantee you that, see. How stupid can a person be? <laughs> that's all i got on this with people y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section about this particular situation i'm interested in hearing your thoughts views and opinions on it 
Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.